my post game Penn State Wisconsin recap. Um, wow, that was an interesting game. Um, I want to start off by saying that um, I couldn't get this video. I, I I was busy for the most part of today, so I, I just got back. Um, so I couldn't really make the video um, up until right now, basically. And all I can say is that this team never goes down. They never go down. Never will go down. They, 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 they never stop fighting. And they're up. They're, I mean, they're, they're down 28-7. Game starts off. Wisconsin gets a touchdown. Doesn't look good. All offense doesn't look good. It's fourteen nothing. Wisconsin. Penn State comes down, and gets a touchdown. You're like, okay, fourteen seven. This 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 game's gonna be fine, you know. Then Wisconsin, Penn State's trying to get some momentum. It goes over McShorley, and they get it for a touchdown. The um Brian Gaia, our center, just snapped it over McShorley's head. They got it. Ran in for a touchdown. So now you're looking at 21 7, and you're like, dang it. You're like, damn, because that could have easily been. Then I think Franklin and Joe Moorhead started to feel a level of anxiety, and it was 21 7 in, in the second quarter, and they went for it on fourth and two, and the play was really bad. It, 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 it was really bad. The play was really, really bad, and. I think that um, then Wisconsin comes down, and gets a touchdown. So you're kind of looking at it differently. Where um, from that point on, it's twenty eight seven, and you're like Wisconsin is murdering Penn State, even though the Penn State defense hadn't played that bad. It's just that. They, they made a lot of silly mistakes. Then they go for it again, and they don't get it on fourth and two at midfield. Thank God Penn State held them, because if Wisconsin got a touchdown and it was 35-7, game would, game would have been over right then and there. Even though they would have ended up getting a tie if they came back, game would have been over. Um, and the big part that changed it around a little bit was – that touchdown before half, it was just like the pit game where we it kind of gave Pitt a little bit like, oh, we're only up 14 now. They're, they're, they're still within reach. That was what happened against Wisconsin. Wisconsin's like, oh, you know, we really wish it was 21. At 21, you're very, very, very comfortable. Where at 14, it's not quite as comfortable as 21. Wisconsin comes down. Penn State shut them down. Well, they're going to miss field goal, which was big. A couple plays later, Penn State finds Penn State finds the D Blacknall on a big play. He starts to he did, goes out, then he comes back a little bit, and he just gets going for like the last thirty yards. He just ran it in, and um, it was like a seventy yard touchdown reception, and that was the one that put Penn State right back into the game. At that point, it was twenty eight twenty one, and you're like, that was the moment that was constant. When like, <sighs> dang it, dang it, because now it's a seven point game, and you have no momentum. Wisconsin comes down three and out, basically. They might have got one first down. A couple of plays later, Penn State finds Godwin. They get Hamilton. No, they get Hamilton on a deep play. Then they get Gasicki. And then I think they find Barkley. No, they don't find Barkley. They end up running it into Barkley to tie it up. And that's when Wisconsin was like, ooh, snap. That This game is we're tied. And Penn State's like, we, we have everything. You know, we are in this game. And we are probably going to win this game now. Wisconsin comes down, gets field goal. Um, Penn State was just glad to not give them a touchdown. And at that point, there wasn't a ton of time left, but Penn State was like, if we can come down and put up some points, that would go a really long way to determining who would win the game. Penn State just hit Hamilton just completely. Just a great throw. Like, like They were just lofting it up there and letting them come down and get it. McShirley almost threw for 400 yards. And... That went so far in the game to make it 20. To, to And then a couple plays later, they got Barkley on, on a touchdown. And that gave them the lead. It was 35-31. Now Wisconsin's like, oh my god, we were losing. We were losing. We were up 28-7, and now we are losing. Nobody ever thought that was going to happen. Not even the Penn State faithful. Because you're down 28-7, and yet you are a second-half team 
nothing seemed to go your way. All, all They had like four fumbles, and they all went to Wisconsin. This, this game could have easily been like 42-28, 42-24, something like that. Penn State could have won this game by 14, 17 points instead of seven if they really um, played in that first half a little bit. Like if that fumble thing didn't go over, they would have won by 14. A couple fumbles go their way. Penn State could have won this game by like 21, 24 points even. Didn't happen. Penn, Penn State comes down. Wisconsin doesn't get anything. Penn State gets the ball back. They're driving. They hand, they give it to Hamilton, and he can't quite get the first down. And if they got that first down, they would have got the touchdown, basically, and would have been game. And you're like, dang it. Because you have to take the points. And they took the points 38-31. Wisconsin comes down on a slow drive. You know, they're not a team that's going to come down with some big play offense like Penn State. It's just not gonna, it, it's not in their nature. And they were taking their good old time. About a minute left at the 25, I think. It was a third and one, I think. And they just handed it off, and they didn't get it. Well, no, it was fourth and one, and that was the game. And it was fitting that it was Green Halo because he was the one that got smoked by Corey Clement and, you know, T.J. Watt and, um, oh, my God, there was another guy that were all, like, you know, dancing up and down, like, we're going to win, we're going to win. You should have seen the look on their face when it was 28-28. The fact that they came back, they were like, oh, no. At that point, I could kind of tell that Penn State was probably going to come out with the win just by how they were playing and how Wisconsin was letting the game get to them. And then Penn State came away with a 38-31 win. Barkley had a pretty good night. Um, I was pretty happy with it. The, the defense allowed 31. You go, oh, 31, that's not a real great performance. But you have to admit that they really only allowed 24 defensively. And... Sometimes they gave us constant short fields, so it could have been closer than what it really was. It could have been closer than it was if they really, they really made some bigger plays, Wisconsin, and got that passing game going. So, you know, that's a wrap for this video. I'll be back with more. This was just my post game wrap up. I'm gonna go make another video about the rankings. But Penn State's eleven and two. They got the win. They're Big Ten champions. And let me just say something. Who would have ever thought that this team would be 11-2 and two and have won the Big Ten championship when you were 2-2? Two and two? When you were 2-2, two and two, most people were like, Penn State's going to go maybe six wins at the most. Maybe six. They're like, well, they'll probably lose to Minnesota and Maryland. They're probably going to lose to Indiana, Iowa, Michigan State, Ohio State. This team's going. This team could go four and eight. And they come back. They show the fight and the passion. And this. And, and let's remember one thing: they have every every single guy on offense except their center who screwed that play up. So he's he. You know, believe me, he he's a good player, but I mean, he was the one who did cost us seven points in this game, so we're getting everybody back except one offensive lineman, and on defense, we're losing Brandon Bell, we're losing Malik Golden, and Evan Schwan, and there's another person too, I think, well, Naeem Wortman White, but he really hasn't been playing, he, he's been out the whole year anyway, so we're going to get... Sickles, both of the Coffrin brothers, we're going to get Bowen and Kabinda back. We're going to get Reed back. No, we're we'll Grant Haley. Grant Haley, John Reed, and we're going to get, who's that other safety? I'm, I'm, I'm just so, <laughs> don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh, Marcus Allen. My Marcus Allen. So we're going to have eight returning defensive players and a ten returning offensive players. So that's pretty good. So that's a wrap for this video. Penn State got the win. They're 11-2. and two. I'm very proud of them, regardless of the ranking that comes out later on. Peace out.